everybody, uh, Radar Brian here. I'm going to give you a quick and easy basic lesson for Audacity as far as installing the program and actually inserting the plugin that allows you to export as MP3. First of all, it's real easy to find. It's a free soft piece of software called Audacity, A U D A C I T Y, and you can find it at audacity.sourceforge.net. Or if you're lazy like me, you could just type Audacity into Google or whatever search engine you use, and you're probably going to find this exact link on the top of the list. Anyway, uh, you'll load up this page that we have before us here first, and then you're going to see towards the bottom here, download Audacity 1.2.6. You could download the beta version uh, if you want. I think you just might get a couple of crashes or something like that. So whichever one you want, you're going to click this link, and then you're going to go to this page that has different options to download. Uh, the actual file that you need to download to actually install the program itself is located right here. Uh, it's going to be a zip file. It's about 3 meg. It won't take you that long to download. So you would click that and download it and install it. Uh, I'm going to assume that you uh, know enough about computers that you can download and install the software. Uh, the problem with Audacity that a lot of people are having is that by default it doesn't allow you to export into mp3 format and so uh, that's pretty limiting. Uh, I'm not sure why Audacity doesn't include that built in. I think it has to do with something about the copyright of the encoder or something like that and it probably allows them to be able to give it away for free. <clears throat> what they do allow you to do though is install a plugin that's made by somebody else. It's called the the lame mp3 encoder and on the same page that the download for the program is on you'll see it right here under optional downloads lame mp3 encoder so you just want to click on it and then uh, the instructions are actually right here if you're capable of following those you could just stop watching right now and go to it but if you want to stick around with me here I'll walk you through it also so they're gonna give you a link to the lame people's page I'm not sure where that name comes from uh, and so then you're gonna go to if this whichever operating system you're using you're gonna go here and find the one that's for you for me it would be Windows so I'm gonna pick Windows I'm gonna save this zip file and then inside the zip file once you open it up you're gonna find a folder that has three files in it these files need to be unzipped onto your computer to use with Audacity the best place to put it in my opinion is straight in the Audacity folder if you don't know how to get to your Audacity folder, uh, this is how you do it. You would pull up My Computer, and then you're going to go to C Drive, and then you're going to go to Program Files. This, of course, is if you've installed it in the default directory. Then you're going to find your the folder called Audacity, and you're going to open it up. And then there's a folder called Plugins. That's where I'm going to put it. If I were if I were doing it, and so the best easiest the best easiest way to do this is to have the two folders next to each other. Here you're gonna highlight all of the uh, lame MP3 encoder files, and then you would just drag them over into the plugins folder. I'm not gonna do that because I've already installed the lame encoder. So then that would pretty much be your install. The only thing left to do that sometimes confuses people is the actual first time that you run Audacity. The first time that you run Audacity after installing this plugin, you're going to go to File and you're going to pick Export as MP3. Uh, let me record something here real fast. Okay, uh, and so then, let me stop it here. If you go to File and select Export as MP3, <clears throat> mine is not going to show this because I have the encoder already installed. But if you did not, when you click Export as MP3, before it gives you the option to save, it's going to ask you where did you put the lame MP3 encoder. And what you would do is you would just navigate right here to My Computer, C Drive, Program Files, and then you would find your Audacity folder, open it up, go to plugins, and then you would find 
the folder that uh, the file that it's asking for. All right, and it'll know what it's looking for. It'll make sense when you do that. Anyway, and then that's all there is to it. Now, once you've installed it, you could go to export as MP3, and there's the option to save. You can see where I've exported plenty of songs that I've been messing around with, uh, and, and it's pretty easy. Uh, uh, so I hope this has been helpful for you, and uh, thanks for watching.